as a solo creator, one of the most time-consuming tasks is editing. Now, you might be spending hours editing your video content or podcasts, and maybe you're considering hiring an editor to make it all go much faster. Adding people to your team to support your content is great, but before you hire someone, I want to share seven AI tools that I use to edit my video podcast and allows me to go from recording a podcast to publishing it on YouTube and Spotify in less than two hours. That's right, my video content on YouTube and video podcast, I do it all myself, and I've been able to cut down that editing process to under an hour, which still gives me time to make thumbnails and images and all of that. Now, I launched my tech podcast last year, and we've almost hit a quarter million audio downloads, and our YouTube channel, which is almost at 2,000 subscribers, that's also hit 230,000 views. Now, the only way I can consistently record, edit, and produce content in a streamlined way is by using Riverside. Me and my co-host record every week with Riverside, and that allows me to share visually engaging elements while we record, screen shares, play video and audio clips, and then the Riverside editor puts it all together. Here's every episode of my video podcast for the last year, and I'm going to show you the seven AI tools in Riverside that lets me expedite this whole process, but tool number seven lets me do it all with a single click. That's right. We'll get to that in a second. Once we're done recording an episode, I'll jump into the editor right here from the Riverside dashboard. Now, the first thing I want to do is cut out any fluff or superfluous content that doesn't provide value to my viewer and listener. Well, a brand new tool in the Riverside AI producer is actually called Cut Fluff. If I tap Suggest, when I click Suggest, it's going to look through my entire recording and then actually suggest moments that I remove to make the content more engaging and just cut out the extra stuff I don't need. I can even see the reason the AI producer is giving me why I should cut it out. And I just click apply and that portion is gone. I can also see down here in the timeline, not only did I drop markers while we recorded so I know exactly what to edit quickly, but those purple dots here above the timeline show other timestamps that maybe we can remove, cut the fluff, just click apply and I'm done. Now I know I have all the small talk cut out and just the valuable content that will keep people engaged. Now the next thing I do is go back up to the AI producer and choose our set pace and smooth speech features. Set pace removes all silences. Now for my full podcast episode, I go for a balanced approach and it will tell me how many pauses, 13, and how much seconds will be removed, 22. If I'm doing short form clips, I might go super fast and it removes all silences whatsoever. So I'll keep that balanced pace and apply and then I'll go back and apply smooth speech and that removes all filler words and unwanted sounds. Now I have a clean recording with no silences and no filler words ready to go. Also, if you had a co-host that was maybe making some background noise, tapping their desk, or they had a fan running, you can apply magic mute and that will mute everyone's track when they're not speaking. Now you can always go back in and adjust that later by expanding the individual tracks here, zoom in and you'll see all the portions that have been muted with those diagonal lines and you can always go in and drag the in and out points on individual audio clips. And now I can make sure all those cuts are precisely how I want. Number three, every time you record with Riverside, chapter markers will automatically be placed throughout the recording. So if I zoom out on the timeline, I can see all the chapters laid out here, which makes it easy to jump to a certain point in the recording if I remember I need to edit it out or maybe pull a clip for social media. If there was a section I want to cut out entirely, I can actually click the three dots and choose delete content and it will remove the chapter and all the video and audio associated with it. Or I can just remove the chapter here and choose to add my own chapter either by clicking here and it will add it in the timeline or anywhere in the transcript, I can click and choose to add a chapter. Oh, by the way, if you want to copy that chapters list to add it to your YouTube video description or podcast host, just click the three dots here above the transcript, copy the chapters list and you're good to go. Before I get to number four, which was another exciting new feature, I also apply smart scenes. With a single click, I can go to layout, click smart scenes, and now Riverside will focus on the active speaker whenever they're talking, and then go back and forth between the two of us, just focus on one person. And now I've created a multicam edit with a single click, all thanks to Riverside and those separate tracks recognizing each speaker. Number four, if I want to add engaging video to my podcast, I can do it right here in Riverside. Our new video overlay tool allows me to search for royalty free video. I can choose a clip, search for whatever I'd like. If I need to adjust the volume of the clip, just click the speaker icon, lower that volume, and now I have engaging B-roll throughout my podcast edit, all done here in Riverside. I can overlay multiple video clips and also overlay images, upload my own, and do text overlays for names, titles, URLs, and more. Now, when it's actually time to make some more granular edits to this clip, I've set multiple markers. I did that while we recorded, so it's easy to jump to those points. The comments here are those markers that I dropped. And if I need to remove a section, all I have to do is select the text, click the trash can, and I've edited my video and audio content. That's how easy it is to edit in Riverside. 
If you can edit a Word document, you can edit video. Then I can go through, select text, click delete, or if I want to move a section, maybe copy and paste, I can select text here, click the three dots, and then cut it or copy it, again, just like a Word document, and Riverside will move the entire video and audio wherever you'd like. Next, I have a brand that I like to apply with every new episode. Well, Riverside has an entire brand kit built into the editor. Here you can add a logo, a background image. You can also choose what kind of captions you'd like to appear and what formats you'd like the captions to be used. And you can even have an intro clip automatically applied that you upload. Then when I apply the brand, it'll automatically change the video layout, add my image background, and add those animated captions throughout the edit. Now with those six tools, I have an engaging piece of content, looks like a multicam edit focusing on the active speaker, captions, video b-roll, and more. Then I can export this in up to 4K video quality, upload that to YouTube, and I'm ready to go. Every episode you see here on our YouTube channel is exactly that, the 4K export directly from Riverside. You can also jump over and export an audio MP3, upload that to your podcast host, and now you have an audio show as well. So those were six plus AI tools built into Riverside, but this last one is the key. We call it our full episode workflow. And here back on the recordings page, I can actually choose all of the settings that I just went through, like our brand kit, our set pace, whether or not we want smooth speech applied, magic mute, and I can even choose to run this workflow every time we record. Choose your ratio, click save, and now every time I record a new episode, all I have to do is click this one button, generate, and it's gonna apply all those AI tools and settings to my recording, and I have basically a fully edited show. You can tweak here and there. And I am done in way less than an hour editing my content so I can focus on packaging it, making thumbnails, and producing short form clips to post on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, which one more AI tool in Riverside is our Magic Clips feature. Just like the full episode generator, you can choose exactly how you want your Magic Clips to appear. Click Generate. You can choose how long you want them to be, what speaker to focus on, and then you can generate multiple rounds of those vertical videos. Riverside will automatically find engaging moments. And as you can see, every short posted on our YouTube channel was directly from Riverside Magic Clips. And those are seven plus AI tools built into Riverside that can be your personal editor. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video and I'll answer you personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button because we have even more tools and features coming very soon. I'm going to be real. It's going to blow your mind. Now, if you want to see my entire process for recording and editing a video podcast, check out this video right up here. And if you want to learn how to live stream with Riverside, yes, Riverside does that too. Did a whole masterclass on all the live streaming tools. You can check that out right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.